So I just wanted to show you this, and again, I have hard copies available for you for today, but then this is also a resource for you. So these are the actual standards, and so that um, how they were grouped together, that collaboration, interpretive, productive, you, you don't even have to look at that unless you want to, you know, look at the colors, because that's actually just the colors. So collaborative is purple, you know, the, the interpretive is blue. But the standard them, themselves are listed in each of those areas. And so there's 10 standards, and you can see some of them are repeated because there's an A, B, and C part of the standard. So if the stand, like the standard I showed you earlier was reading, viewing closely, the one that I had aligned to the common core. So this is just a checkoff sheet for you. So because nobody's telling you what standard, what ELD standard am I supposed to include in my lesson? Nobody is saying this one is aligned here and you have to insert this when you're teaching this particular math content. The easier thing to do is to look at your math content and like I said, just go through this and highlight. Okay, you know what? Usually I am asking um, students to support opinions and persuade others when I'm teaching this. So you could just write that next to it. So here's the content that I'm teaching when I'm, when I'm doing that. And then that way, you can look at the standards and decide, oh, okay, so you know, when I'm teaching this particular math lesson, here's the ELD standard that I'm going to fit into that particular lesson. So these are the standards. And then for each standard, they've got the three levels. And so those are, and I've, and I've got handouts. It's just a front and back. So there's 10 standards for, um, but like I said, some of them are doubled. <laughs> so 10 standards for the first area, and then for those um, yellows and greens, there's another seven standards. And when you look at them, you'll think, okay, well, like I said, I'm probably never going to ask my students in my math class to use uh, verb, verb and verb phrases, because I wouldn't even know what to ask them. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, um, so I would encourage all of you in your content area, pick the ones that make sense in your content area, and and you'll when you see them, they're very they're pretty vague. I mean, who who isn't asking their students to, um, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are so, we all asking them to listen attentively? Check. We, we've got that, you know. And so, and when you actually, again, when you look at the standard, it'll tell you exactly what they should be doing, you know, by listening attentively. What they're, they should be asking questions. They, you know, the, the exchanging information and ideas, that's group work. And so they actually will tell you, ask and answer questions, turn taking. They will give you the examples of what what they should be doing in group work that will help them in their language development.